Welcome to these tutorials about the electrochemical series and using standard electrode potentials. If you haven't seen the previous tutorials on standard electrode potentials, you might want to look at those first. Nonetheless, in this introduction, we're going to review some of the key points about standard electrode potentials, specifically right hand uh, electrode relative to hydrogen and redox behavior. Following this will be a tutorial on uh, proving E cell is E of a right hand electrode minus left hand electrode and then lastly identifying reactions for which E cell is positive. This is a review of how we measure standard electrode potentials. So the, the measured electrode potential is the right hand electrode relative to a hydrogen half cell under standard conditions, one atmosphere, one mole per decimeter cube standard state, 298 degrees Kelvin. So here is the way that the AG, AG plus electrode would be measured. And as we can see, this gives a value of plus 0.8 volts. Listing a range of standard electrode potential shows that half cells with negative values tend to lose electrons, uh, whereas those with positive values tend to gain electrons. More commonly, these values are written in a table of uh, reduction half equations, i.e. with the electrons on the left-hand side in the e equilibrium. Uh, we know that uh, negative values indicate species which tend to lose electrons, and so in terms of this equilibrium, this would correspond to the reaction going in the reverse direction, losing electrons, providing electrons. So negative going in the reverse direction. For positive values, these indicate half cells which tend to gain electrons. And so in terms of the uh, reduction half equations, the equilibrium would tend towards uh, the right or in the forward direction. This uh, leads to a rather useful shortcut in thinking in which we can say that the sign of E0 indicates the bias of the equilibrium. So if uh, this is kind of familiar, then that's great. And so it's time to look at how to use these uh, standard electrode potential values to predict cell EMFs without actually pre performing an experiment. 